today I'm drawing the king brown snake. And he's beautiful, he's coming my way. The king brown snake, one of the most beautiful snakes. It has a really high venom yield. Although the venom's not as toxic as, hang on, it's coming my way again. Although the venom's not as toxic as, uh, say, Eastern Brown or Taipan, what it does, though, it injects lots and lots of venom in. When it bites, it sort of chews and sort of keeps pumping more venom in. It has large venom glands. It's on my boot. Yes, a bit of a worry here is it eats other snakes, and uh, my boot probably smells a bit like snake. It's, it's checking out something. I hope it doesn't see me as food. Just move him back here a bit. Very, very gentle. He doesn't know if he wants to get away or if he wants to, you know, stay and check me out. Seems to have calmed down a bit. I'll try and get in another sketch. So as I mentioned, it's called King Brown Snake. It eats other snakes. It also eats frogs and other reptiles. And now it's heading for my sketch pad, which almost also must smell a little bit nice for it. Dear, oh dear, where's it gone? It's, this is the first for me. I've never had a snake under my sketch pad before. I'm just pressing very, very gentle because if I put any pressure on its head now, it could get really angry. And the last thing I want is an angry king brown snake. Hang on, where's he? He's coming out here somewhere. There he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hello. Whoop. Yeah, he's very skittish. He's very very wary of me. Although it's called the King Brown Snake, it's actually part of the Black Snake family. Well, watch out. Uh, he's on my sketch pad. I'm not going to put my hand right there at the moment. So even though he's part of the, the Black Snake family, he's not really black, he's more of a brown colour. You can't always tell the species of a snake by their colour. So King Brown Snakes, the common whoa. King Brown Snakes, the common name for this guy. Uh, Mulga Snake would be another name that this one's called. He's under the sketch pad again. I don't think I've ever had a snake so interested in my sketch pad. It's probably because I sketch so much wildlife that somehow this sketch pad's being in a lot of interesting places. Just the other day I was sketching frogs and I did sketch another snake and now this guy is starting to take an interest in my sketch pad. I think he wants it. I think he's king of my sketch pad. I'm not sure what to do here. I'll just let him have it. So there's one thing about you know, a king brown snake is you, you don't really want to argue with one. Well, he's not going to find any food there. And he's still looking. I'll we'll just have to wait for him to go. Okay, although a highly venomous snake, again, it's one of these cases of you leave the snake alone, the snake will leave you alone. Unless your sketch pad smells like lizards. Okay, he'll be on his way. So I guess this is a typical thing that, you know, most people won't come this close to a brown snake. If they do have a, uh, a an interaction with a snake like this, the best thing is to stay calm, maybe back off a little bit. Just let the snake do whatever it wants to do. It's not hurting anybody there. And give it a little bit of time and it realises there's no food there, it will just move on. Which I think he's slowly losing interest now. Look at those beautiful scales. There he goes, he's on his way. Whew. And another sketch done.